Reptiles have captivated humans for centuries with their unique features and fascinating behaviors. From stealthy chameleons to giant anacondas, these scaly creatures come in all shapes and sizes. So join me for today's video. I'm going to count down the 15 most incredible reptiles in the world. Number 15. Green Anaconda Measuring up to 29 feet long and weighing as much as 550 pounds, the green anaconda is undeniably the undisputed king of snakes. This monstrosity is so big and heavy that it's adapted to aquatic life, making its home in rivers, swamps, and marshes, as swimming is much easier than dragging its heavy body on land. As a result, green anacondas have evolved their eyes and nostrils to be on top of their head, so they can breathe and see while the rest of their body is underwater. The green anaconda is native to the jungles of South America, where it's the apex predator. Using sight, smell, and heat detection, no animal in the Amazon rainforest is safe, including jaguars. But nonetheless, common prey includes capybaras, crocodilians, wild pigs, birds, and tapirs. But to add to that fear factor, these snakes are infamous for their cannibalistic tendencies, with large females consuming smaller males. In the world of the green anacondas, females are the larger sex. And as with other boas, green anacondas kill their prey through constriction, which involves coiling around their prey and squeezing them to death. This is then followed by consuming the dead animal head first. Again, like other constrictors, the green anaconda's jaws are detachable, allowing them to swallow large prey. After consuming a large meal, green anacondas can go for weeks or even months without eating. They live pretty solitary lives, only seeking out each other to mate. Unlike other snakes, they give birth to little live ones, which can be as many as 80. Thankfully, the green anaconda is also not endangered. Number 14. The Galapagos Land Iguana it could be argued that the Galapagos is where it all began. Charles Darwin spent much of his time there studying his theory of evolution and survival of the fittest. The region's home to a plethora of uniquely adapted species of fauna, one of those being the Galapagos land iguana. Darwin initially described these iguanas as ugly, but thanks to their brownish-reddish bodies and yellow-orange underbellies, these reptiles are absolutely incredible. They are one of the largest lizards in the world, growing anywhere from 3 to 5 feet long and can weigh up to 30 pounds. It's about as big as your average pet dog. To keep their cold blood warm, these giant iguanas hang out on the volcanic rock all day, as they bask in the sun before burrowing underground at night to conserve their body heat. They even formed a symbiotic relationship with the local birds, who make quick meals of ticks and parasites that normally reside on their scaly bodies. These iguanas typically feed off the plants that grow in and around the rocks, like prickly pear cacti, but it's also known to be an opportunistic carnivore sometimes. If they can find them, they'll happily eat small insects, centipedes, and even some carrion. The Galapagos land iguana are considered threatened, with anywhere from 5 to 10,000 left in existence, which is pretty sad, considering during the days of Darwin, the islands were teeming with the reptiles. So how did that happen? Well, thanks to the introduction of feral animals like pigs, dogs, cats, rats, and simply soldiers shooting them for fun, the iguanas lost their dominance in the food chain. Conservation and relief efforts began in the 1990s, with breeding programs reintroducing them to specific islands where the population dwindled down to zero. Number 13. Gharial when we think of crocodiles, our minds typically go to the massive reptiles with wide jaws capable of snapping hard-shelled tortoises clean in half. And while those certainly do exist, we can't forget about the unique-looking gharial. The unmistakable gharial is known for its long, thin snout which it uses to catch fish. On the male snout is the titular gara, this bulbous growth at the tip. And thanks to their long mouths, the gharial is among the longest of all living crocodilians, with females growing anywhere from 8 to 15 feet, and males from 10 to 20 feet long. That long, narrow snout holds over 50 sharp teeth at a time, and is usually 3.5 feet longer than the width of the skull's base. It's a unique adaptation that has stumped scientists for decades and given birth to a handful of theories as to why they've evolved. But one thing's for sure, the long snout full of interlocking teeth leaves little room for resistance when catching prey. An adult gharial will tear apart larger fish and swallow stones as gastroliths to help break down the meat into smaller, easier-to-digest pieces. While gharials likely evolved on the Indian subcontinent, the odds of seeing one in the wild are slim to none. By 2006, there were only 250 wild ones in existence, mostly due in part to human intervention. They're often hunted for their skins and skulls, indigenous medicinal purposes, killed by dynamite fishing blasts, and their eggs are overconsumed by humans. Irrigation canals and sand mining has also changed river courses, which causes their habitat destruction. 
Number 12. Draco Lizard all right, we're learning now that you don't need to be a bird to fly. All you need is the right body and can-do attitude, which I guess is a good thing for the next high flyer on this list. The Draco Lizard sounds like a monster from a video game, but in reality, they're far less nefarious and far more interesting. These little guys are totally awesome and kind of cute and come equipped with a fold of skin between their elongated ribs. These colorful flaps of skin can expand and retract at will to help keep the species alive. But how can something so simple do something so important? Well, for starters, the Draco Lizard uses these flaps to glide from tree to tree to make quick and easy efficient escapes when predators come too close. But not only do they save lives, they also help to keep the species going by helping to attract a mate. The bigger and the more colorful the skin, the better chance they have of attracting one and further passing on not just better survival instincts, but more reliable wings. But the coolness factor here doesn't stop there, because the Draco lizards also use their tails to help steer themselves through the air, traveling about 200 feet at a time, and they can even turn their wrists up to 90 degrees to grab their wings mid-flight and maintain control even better. The Draco lizard may be able to fly far, but they don't grow to be more than just a few inches long, tail and all. These strange little guys can be found all around the jungles of Southeast Asia and help the area's pest control by keeping the termite and ant populations at bay. Number 11. Leatherback Turtles The leatherback turtle is known for its distinct lack of scales and hard shell. Instead, it sports a bony carapace covered in black skin and a texture more akin to leather. And because it's one of the largest turtle species in the world and the widest ranging reptiles and vertebrates in the world, it's also one of the most well-known species of reptile around. In fact, when we see turtles laying eggs on the beach, this usually is who we're seeing. They truly are amazing creatures. During migration season, the leatherback turtle swims about 10,000 miles between nesting and feeding sites. The longest migration, though, was recorded between 2007 and 2008, when a turtle swam for over 12,700 miles between New Guinea and Oregon, putting even the greatest Olympian swimmers to shame. They tend to nest in tropical and subtropical beaches, but their unique adaptations allow them to swim to the colder waters where other reptiles fear to tread. Their larger body size, coupled with a layer of fat, helps them to produce and maintain their body heat and a unique network of blood vessels transfers heat from the limbs, raising the blood temperature in the veins before reaching the heart. And they're doing all of this while diving at depths up to about 4,000 feet and down for about 85 minutes at a time. One aspect of the leatherback turtles that will really keep you up at night is their mouths. As if serving for the inspiration for the sarlacc pit, their esophagus is lined with papillae and sharp keratinized prongs that allow them to feast on jellyfish. Number 10. Mary River Turtle One of the coolest looking reptiles around also just happens to be one of the cutest. The Mary River Turtle looks like it very slowly walked from the pages of The NeverEnding Story and plopped right into the waters of Australia. These turtles are endemic to the Mary River of their namesake in Queensland, Australia, and were kept as pets for more than two decades before ever being classified as a new species. The only species in the Elosaur genus, these long-necked turtles split from their common ancestors more than 40 million years ago. In comparison, we humans only split from our closest relatives, the bonobo, less than 10 million years ago, so these little guys are old. They are incredibly unique thanks to their use of bimodial respiration, meaning they're capable of absorbing oxygen underwater through their cloaca. Because of this aquatic adaptation, they can stay underwater for up to three days at a time. Some crude fans of the Mary River Turtle have started calling it the Bum Breathing Turtle. But the coolest part of the Bum Breather is how algae can form on their heads and shells, which resemble a nice head of wavy green hair. Sadly, these green-haired reptiles have been on the endangered species list since 1970. The construction of dams and the collection of eggs for the pet trade has been a major factor in the decline. And the fact that the Mary River turtle takes an exceptionally long time to reach sexual maturity, about 25 years, does make breeding difficult. Number 9. Geckos all right, we've all seen the commercials, but other than having an Australian accent, most people don't know too much about these loud and scaly reptiles. Depending on where you live in the world, it's not uncommon to see them hiding under shrubs or even sticking to the walls in your home. But they're also pretty damn nimble, like parkour-level nimble. And when they're running away from their bigger, sometimes faster predators, they need a good escape plan. So geckos use something called rapid inversion. If the gecko in question is running on a ledge and sees this edge getting closer and closer, instead of going for the life-saving jump, they're going to simply hold on and flip to the bottom for a classic game of hide-and-seek. 
When the predator looks all the way down, it'll be safe enough for them to assume that their reptilian prey fell to their death. But little do they know that the gecko is right underneath them, holding its breath, hoping they're not spotted. But even then, no other animal is going to be able to pull off that balancing act like the now inverted gecko. About 60% of gecko species have adhesive toe pads that allow them to adhere to just about any surface without the use of liquids or surface tension, making them the ninjas of the animal kingdom. Number 8. Texas Horned Lizard Sometimes lizards camouflage into their surroundings. Some lizards shoot their tongue out in the blink of an eye to snatch up unsuspecting prey. And some lizards even shoot blood from their eyes. Yep, we're talking about the Texas Horned Lizard. These lizards have one of the strangest and most morbid adaptations in the entire animal kingdom. Despite the horns and spines growing from their body, there are plenty of predators that will try to make a meal of these lizards. And that's where the spurts of blood come in. When a predator gets too close for comfort, the Texas Horned Lizard will spurt blood from its eye towards the bigger animal's mouth. And even if the predator has a taste for blood, this lizard's blood is foul. Just one taste of this nasty blood is enough to send them packing and hunting for something a little sweeter. It's like a human sending back food to the kitchen at a restaurant. Sure, it's weird and disgusting, but hey, it works. And this Texas Horned Lizard is just another reminder that you don't mess with Texas. Number 7. The Black Mamba Many famous people have taken on the code name Black Mamba, one of the greatest NBA players of all time, Kobe Bryant, and of course the Bride of Kill Bill, these should immediately come to mind. And when you hear about this large snake, you'll understand just how both people managed to live up to that name. The Black Mamba is one of the world's longest snakes, some are known to be more than 14 feet long out in the wild, but generally they're only about 8 to 10 feet in length. But unlike some of their serpentine cousins who can reach massive girths and unfathomable weights, the black mamba is just about 3 pounds. But it's that slender little body that makes their movements so incredibly swift, slinking and sliding around at a top speed of almost 8 miles an hour. And the worst part about these tiny little killers is that they hunt both on the ground and up in the trees. They're also incredibly aggressive, attacking anything and everything that gets too close, whether they're going to eat it or not. In fact, the black mamba's venom will kill an adult human in just about 20 minutes. It's that bad. But contrary to their name, the black mambas are gray or brown, and it's actually their mouths which are black on the inside and always opened when threatened that have earned them this notorious name. These venomous snakes live in the savannas of Central and Eastern Africa and are, thankfully, given the conservation status of least concern. It's anyone who crosses their path, though, that should be concerned. Number 6. Thorny Devils Australia is a continent where it seems like everything out there is trying to get you. Jumping spiders hop onto people and snakes hide in the brush ready to pounce, even in the cities. But the outback is another beast entirely, and unless you've been born and raised to survive the landscape's temperament, you won't make it very long. Even for desert critters, water is incredibly scarce, but luckily for the thorny devil, it doesn't need to put in that much work to quench its thirst. The thorny devil's skin has evolved to incorporate a process known as capillary action, which allows it to absorb water like a blotter paper. The lizard's scales are structured in such a way that when the dew from the air falls onto its body, it channels down to the corners of the animal's mouth like an all-day water fountain. They can even absorb water from mud and the occasional outback puddle. It sounds like the kind of adaptation you'd find on the planet Arrakis, though. And any thorny devils whose scales don't form the perfect pattern, well, they die out. But what's really cool about these thirsty little guys is you can actually see the water beginning to pool on their skin. When they get wet, they darken, so the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Number 5. Boa Constrictor What is there to say about the infamous boa constrictor? Well, a lot, actually. The boa constrictor can grow to be 13 feet long and weigh up to 60 pounds, making them extra thick and bulky. Even the newborns are about two feet long. But the females are the one in the species that you should be really worried about because they substantially outgrow the males in terms of both length and girth. But because they're so large and so deadly, they tend to live a life of solitude, living anywhere from 20 to 30 years at a time. Once their children are born, they're on their own, left with the instinct to wrap themselves around prey, crush their bones, and suck the life out of them. But while roughly 70% of snake species lay eggs, the pregnant female boa incubates the eggs in her body, meaning she gives birth to about 60 babies at a time, all of which know exactly how to be a boa constrictor immediately. It's pretty crazy. And as they grow up, these boas can go for some pretty large game. 
Everything from rats, birds, and monkeys to wild boar is all fair game in the snake's eyes. The boa constrictor is found in the humid rainforests and semi-deserts of South America, with many held captive either by zoos, conservatories, or even as home pets. But an odd fact about captive constrictors is that they can grow larger within captivity than they normally would in the wild. That's because out in the wild, they eat less and contain more intestinal parasites, meaning they're getting much less nutrients than their cousins kept behind closed doors. These massive snakes don't hear very well, so they rely on their jaws to perceive vibrations of potential prey on the ground, and the heat-sensing organs allow them to quite literally sense the presence of warm-blooded animals, kind of like a vampire. And while they don't suck their prey's blood or even deliver deadly venom, their bite alone can deliver 12 pounds of pressure per square inch, and their mouths are lined with thin yet sharp teeth to hook their meals. Most humans bit by the boa are inexperienced owners feeding them by hand, and when this happens, the best thing to do is to stay calm, breathe, and wait for the snake to let go. Number 4. The Mata Mata Turtle the Amazon is home to some of the most amazing animals in the world, of course. From vibrant birds to gorgeous yet deadly panthers, picking one favorite is nearly impossible. And then there's the Mata Mata turtle. Where to even begin with this one? The Mata Mata turtle has a strange, long, flared, and wide neck covered in warts and skin fringes. Its small, beady eyes nest on the side of its large, flat, triangular head, and its wide mouth has a long, tubular snout, which it uses as a snorkel. So even though the Mata Mata can't really breathe underwater, it sort of can breathe underwater. They live in muddy, murky substrates of the Amazon, and thanks to beyond poor eyesight, they rely on their fleshy, nerve-filled flaps protruding from their heads to feel vibrations and respond to stimuli. They may look small, with their shells not even reaching two feet in diameter, but they can weigh up to 40 pounds. They're by no means the prettiest reptiles in the world, but when it comes to the overall look, there's truly nothing else like them. Number 3. The Nile Crocodile The Nile Crocodile is as close to a modern-day prehistoric beast as you're going to get, and there's a reason they've been able to stick around for as long as they have. When you're at the top of the food chain, no one is going to mess with you. Typically found in the tropical regions of Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas, crocodiles live in lakes, rivers, wetlands, and even in some saltwater areas. But the Nile species, it's one of the largest, weighing about 1,600 pounds, and kills more people on the Asian and African continents than any other of its kind. Many croc-related deaths go unreported, unrecorded, and unwitnessed, but it's estimated that these four-legged fiends kill about a thousand people a year. It is an incredibly unfortunate statistic, but when a Nile crocodile has their prey in its sights, there's not much that can be done at that point. Known for their ambush hunting technique, these crocs are indiscriminate hunters and attack any animal that comes within reach, and as we've seen, that includes humans. Their attack usually takes the form of launching from the water and clamping its victim in its powerful jaws, dragging them back into the water to drown them before stashing them under submerged branches or rocks to eat later. It's incredibly brutal. Attacks on humans usually happen when people are washing close to riverbanks and lake shores, and when fishermen are getting in and out of their boats. Around 40% of crocodile attacks on humans are fatal, with children at more risk than adults due to their size. The risk of a crocodile attack has been shown to increase in the warmer seasons when the crocodiles have more energy. And because the way their bodies are shaped, crocodiles have evolved to use a technique known as the death roll, where they grab hold of their prey and roll to dismember them, making for an easier meal to consume. Number 2. King Snakes just hearing the word king snake is enough to send shivers down your spine, but just wait till you learn a little bit more about them. Like so many others, king snakes eat things like birds, rodents, and even some lizards, and constrict their prey to death before swallowing them whole. They don't have venom like rattlesnakes or cottonmouths, but they partake in a little ophiophagy, or the eating of snakes. That's right, the king snake is big enough to eat smaller snakes whole, and that includes venomous ones too. But how is that even possible? Well, over millions of years, the king snake has developed an immunity to snake venom. It's plain and simple. It makes them incredibly formidable opponents to any snake they want to swallow. So when the snakes go head to head, the king snake clamps down on their serpentine prey's jaws and constricts it, then swallows them head first. And because of their special immunity, their preferred quarry is vipers. That may sound like a pretty amazing adaptation, but it's actually good for the local ecosystem. Without the king snake, their venomous kinsmen would become apex predators and overpopulate the area, as nothing else could eat them. 
So if you ever do run into a king snake out in the desert, while it is best to steer clear of these aggressive hunters, make sure to tip your hat to them as well, because at the end of the day, they prevent snakes like black mambas and king cobras from taking over the world. Number 1. Komodo Dragon Alright, so we've heard of Komodo dragons before. They're big, fast, deadly monitor lizards that can grow 10 feet long, weigh 200 pounds, and run at top speeds of up to 12 miles an hour. These big lizards are as close to a real-life Godzilla as we're gonna get. And while many will tell you that the Komodo dragon is poisonous, there's still a little bit more to that fact. Yeah, the Komodo dragon has two venom glands in its mouth that will gladly cause anything from swelling to lowered blood pressure and shock to paralysis. It's something you don't want to screw with. But aside from searing pain and paralysis, the Komodo dragons found a way to add insult to injury. The inside of their mouths is a vile cesspool of muck and gunk. Their saliva is full of E. coli, which is typically found in feces, which can cause urinary tract infections in humans. This nasty list can go on forever, and one Komodo dragon can have up to 60 different strains of sickening bacteria in its mouth at any one given time. So while a well-placed tail whip alone can kill some small animals, it's their infectious and venomous bites that put something as big as a water buffalo down in minutes. Scientists have about zero ideas as to how these lizards can survive with a sewage system in their mouths. I guess we all have to do our best with the hand that we're dealt in life. But the Komodo dragons, they were dealt a royal flush. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.